In this module, we will study about the ray diagrams in the concave mirror. Let us know the difference between a real image and virtual image. A real image is formed by the actual intersection of light rays. A real image can be formed on a screen. A real image is always inverted. If the light rays responsible for an image do not actually intersect, the image is called a virtual image. A virtual image cannot be formed on a screen as no light reaches where the image appears. Example, in plain mirror, image may be formed at certain distance behind the mirror, but light rays do not really pass through the mirror. We can trace the light rays to locate the image geometrically. The knowledge of the following light rays helps us in finding the image of point objects. We see here the incident ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection will pass through the focus. The incident light ray passing through the focus after reflection will become parallel to the principal axis. The incident ray passing through the center of curvature after reflection returns back along the same path. We have already learnt the loss of reflection in the previous module. During reflection of light rays, the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection. Angle I is equal to angle R which we see here. Let us now start with the ray diagrams in concave mirror for different positions of object. In this case which we are seeing, the object is at infinity, means far away. The light rays coming from the object are parallel to the principal axis. After reflection, the light rays meet at focus where a real and point size image is formed. The size, location and nature of image formed by a spherical mirror depend on the position of the object. It is more convenient for us to consider only two rays for drawing the ray diagrams. We find that object is moved more and more closer to the mirror in the following ray diagrams. In this case, object is located beyond center of curvature. We consider two light rays 
coming from the object. As per the rules we studied, after reflection, both the light rays meet and image is formed here between focus and center of curvature. Real, inverted and image which is smaller than the object is formed. In this case, the object is located at center of curvature. We see two light rays coming from the object. After reflection, they meet and form the image again at the same position here, that is center of curvature. We see a real inverted and image of same size is formed here. We observe in each of these cases object is moved gradually closer to the mirror. Object now is between focus and center of curvature which we can see in the diagram. As we have studied before, the light ray coming from center of curvature will go back along the same path. We find both the reflected rays here meeting at a point beyond the center of curvature. So image is beyond C, real, inverted and enlarged image is formed. In this case, we find that object is kept at focus. The two light rays from the object after reflection will meet at very large distance. So we say image is at infinity. Here a real image which is inverted and highly magnified is formed. This is the sixth and last case which is different from all the remaining because we don't get real image here but a virtual image is formed behind the mirror. The two light rays from the object after reflection move away and appear to come from a point behind the mirror. Virtual, erect and magnified image is formed here. So these are the ray diagrams for concave mirror.